Hello, my name is Mike Fernandez. Uh, I'm the market manager uh, for Danziger North America. Um, I wanted to take some time and uh, talk to you a little bit about our trialing process. Uh, so I'm in uh, Gilroy, California at Head Start Nursery. Um, it's one of the locations that we do uh, spring trials uh, in of our product. In addition, we do it uh, all over the country. Our, me and my colleagues take a very hand, hands-on approach uh, to this crop. So we do uh, PGRs, uh, we, we're involved in the spraying, the planting, uh, everything that we would have to do. Um, and as you uh, will notice, uh, it's one house with a lot of different varieties, you know, sometimes even uh, uh, up to 500 varieties. You know, I think it's a good test because our customers have to grow a lot of, a lot of items now, uh, even more than ever. So, you know, the program we do is pretty simple. Um, we plant, uh, normally we don't pinch uh, unless it's necessary. Um, we do a lot of PGRs early in the liners and then uh, uh, which saves us uh, time on the end. It gives us a uh, good knowledge of the varieties um, and I think gives us an edge on, uh, on our competitors. Hello Yellow. So Hello Yellow is a new addition uh, to the uh, Capella uh, series has the same attributes, uh, controlled growth habit, early flowering, but you still don't give up performance later. Um, it could be great in quartz for sure, um, but, but also in baskets for a nice tidy basket. Um, as you can see, it, it's a little different from uh, other yellow petunias. Um, it doesn't have the white in the flower, and um, you know, it's more of a, a clear pansy yellow. Um, which is unique in the market right now. For sure, it was selected for quartz, uh, but you can also, uh, like I said, do it in, in, in nice, tidy baskets uh, where you can ship high density. So we talked about Capella Hello Yellow. Now I want to talk about the rest of the um, well-matched series, as I like to say. All the Capellas have controlled growth, which means minimal PGRs, it, it means ease for the grower, and also uh, what means shelf life in the uh, garden center. So we've added uh, more varieties. We added Capella Hello Yellow, Capella Rose, Capella Sangria, and Capella Coral. All the same attributes, uh, early to flower without giving up performance later. So uh, Splash Dance Pop and Pink, you know, we have the existing, uh, the existing varieties, Magenta Mambo, Bolero Blue, um, and uh, I can tell you that the Pop and Pink is definitely the best behaved of all of them. Uh, so it, it's, um, it's going to be a little easier to grow, less PGR, um, and a very nice variety, and it's very stable, uh, even, even in the heat. Next, I'll talk about the Black Moon Rising. So this is going to be in our red carpet collection. It's, um, you know, actually um, going to be great in a, in a basket and or a patio pot. And I will say that uh, in the summer trials uh, at my place in Michigan, it actually uh, outperformed the majority of the petunias in weather tolerance and so on. So I think it's a great novelty. Uh, and it add to any program. So another uh, new addition uh, to our Danziger Petunia lines is a uh, improved variety of the Sunshine uh, Ray. Um, you know, just just for your information, um, every uh, four to five years, um, yellow petunias actually do need to be renewed. Um, you know, it's been proven in the market that you know after time there are issues, and this variety. Um, definitely uh, uh, is improved so it's going to perform well it's going to be best in baskets uh, you can do it in quartz it would take some PGR to keep it down 
um, but it, it, it's still a very nice variety for the Ray series, uh, which is still a strong series after many years. Calibri series uh, is unique because, uh, for one, it's uniformly compact and well-timed to flower. Also, it continues to gain size uh, for the end consumer. The first reason to pick this over others is, is of course, uh, Danziger's great supply chain. Also, there's a lot that has gone into this breeding, which, uh, you know, one is uh, we checked for pH sensitivity, Another is for early blooming in a 10 hour day. Uh, Calibri Bling is, is new to the Calibri series for uh, 2022. Um, it does have the same attributes as um, uh, the other Calibri. So it's compact, uh, flowers early in a, in a 10 hour day. Um, and it's a great novelty um, and an addition uh, to, the, to the series. The benefit to growers is, of course, um, the uniform, uh, the uniformity of the flowering, um, as well as the habit, and um, and then the easy, the ease to to flower without lighting. Uh, the benefit to the retailer, um, of course, is is the high bloom count, the unique novelty, um, and and then also a, a good shelf life. You know, uh, even though it's, it is checked for pH sensitivity, it's always important to watch your pH with Caliber Coa. Keep it uh, at six or below. Um, you know, another, another tip is, is to try to use your PGRs early uh, to save you um, extra PGR use later. Hi there. I'd like to talk to you about the Calibrecoa Iconic series. Our Iconic Calibrecoas feature large flowers with strong contrast in the eye color. Uh, all Danziger Calibrecoas have been bred for and, and selected for pH tolerance as well as they're early enough for any market. They fill a, a hanging basket really quickly and hanging baskets are a very important item in the North American market so we felt like this was a very important place to really work on the breeding. So we started out with this eye type, uh, the purple one here, Iconic Purple, and we now want to show you the, the three new ones for 22. We have Cherry Blossom, Pink, and Peach down there on the end and they're all really well matched so you can put them together. They also keep up really well with some of our more vigorous petunias and combos and we are using them in some of the Durabella combinations so you'll see some new recipes coming down the pipeline that include these genetics. I think uh, consumers are really going to respond well to this two-tone look. They're always really looking for novelties and these are just really striking but my favorite one being the pink. I think that one really pops and it's going to blend well with a lot of interesting colors. 